Yo, what is up guys? This is footage of me speedrunning Minecraft. So if you see me find a buried treasure chest without a map in like 10 seconds, this is not a predetermined seed. I know nothing about it. It just takes a lot of knowledge to be able to do that. I, that's actually nothing to do with what this video is about. I, I feel like I should just mention that though because it's the background footage the entire time. I'm actually making this video because I lost my 10 year old Minecraft account, which is a bit unfortunate because that's what this YouTube channel is named after. It's what I built my entire career on and it's the same account my dad helped me buy when I was nine years old. That's actually where we get the name Rec Rap. My dad suggested that because it's my name backwards. So hi, I'm Parker. <laughs> and I've actually been trying to get this account fixed for the past four years. Yes, you heard that right, four years. I was looking back at the emails. My first one was in 2019 when I started experiencing problems. So we've been at this for a while and to make matters worse Mojang has made a statement that they will not be supporting recoveries of this sort in three days so I'm, I'm literally out of options. I have three days before I can't recover this account ever again. But I wanna pause before we get into all of the problems that are my Minecraft account, because I think it's important to put this all in context. At the end of the day, we're talking about a username in a video game that I get to play for a living. I'm very grateful to be in the position that I am. There's a lot more important things in life, but I think it's an interesting story and it has sucked up quite a bit of my time. So let's start in 2019 when I had my first problem with my Minecraft account. Account. My cousin had started a realm. You can think of a realm like a Minecraft server that you play on with friends, except it's officially hosted through Minecraft. So it's handled a little bit differently. And when I tried to join, I got an error message saying I needed to migrate my Minecraft account. Okay, cool. That makes sense. If you didn't know, Minecraft got acquired by Microsoft a couple of years back. So they changed the way they organize all of their accounts. Meaning if you had an old account like I did, uh, that was bought in like around 2011, you had to change your like settings, I guess, to their new system. And all you need to do this is the email used to purchase the account, which I thought I had. And this is this is where the problems start coming out. The dang email. I went to their official website to migrate the account and I typed in the only account that should have been used to purchase the account, my dad's, because I, I was nine at the time and didn't even have an email. Unfortunately, I immediately get an error message. I can't migrate the account, can't play on the realm. So I dive deep into the forums of the, the Minecraft.net website. And I find there's a niche scenario where if you had bought your Minecraft account in 2011, you could have had two Minecraft accounts linked to the same email which could only happen for this very specific period. And I was like, bang, I got that. That's exactly my scenario. Cause my dad also bought a Minecraft account. So there's two accounts tied to the same email. And the solution was pretty simple too. They said, all you had to do was contact them via email and they could get it sorted out for you. So I contacted them and did not hear anything for four months, which I say not to bash on Mojang because in I got an automatic response saying, we're gonna be experiencing delays. You probably won't get a response for a while. But I say four months to put it in context because four months go by and the realm's over. I don't really have a need for it. So I kind of just ignore the, email. I don't really need to migrate my account. The only thing I'm missing out on is realms, which I, I don't even have a reason for anymore. However, that changes four months later when I start making Minecraft videos. There was one in particular where I wanted to change my Minecraft skin. It's been pretty much the same the entire time I've had the account. But in contrast to the one I'm currently using, it was like a plain blue and black sweater, but I, I wanted to make like a dancing video in Minecraft because I just started making videos. I was like trying to come up with anything that I could make videos on because it was so fun. That's actually where the yellow vest comes from. I designed that for this little dancing video. I eventually get the new skin, but that prompts me to look back at the email, the four month response from Mojang. And they said, that's fine. You don't actually need your email to migrate your account. You can actually use what's called a transaction ID. Whenever you buy a Minecraft account, you should get an email with a little number saying you've purchased the account. Great, well, not really. I could not find my transaction ID. I searched for a long time, but couldn't come up with anything. Going back to the Microsoft employee though, they said, that's totally fine. You can actually contact Skrill. They're the people who handled our money situation when your account was purchased. Like we, we now handle our own money, but back then we use Skrill and they should have your transaction ID. Cool, so I contact Skrill, wow, voice crack, and they do not have it. They say, nope, sorry, Mojang and your bank are the only two entities that should even have that transaction ID. With the only lead left, I contact my bank. Hopefully they have this transaction ID. 
Apparently, they delete everything from seven years or later. So that, that data is like physically impossible to get. It's been, it's been like 10 years at that point, which I should also mention, I clickbaited you. It's not a 10 year old Minecraft account. It's a 12 year Minecraft account. Anyways, after I learn this information, I go back to the Mojang employee and have a, a couple more back and forths, but they eventually have to close the ticket because they can't help me. They don't know what else to do. And this is what sparked the 13 different Minecraft employees I've spoken to trying to get this fixed. I have opened enough tickets to like write a book out of the amount of emails I sent. What, what was really tricky about opening a new ticket every couple of months is I have to summarize every other conversation that I've had with Mojang employees because I, I want to be a, a good email. I want to give them good context. I want to make the email concise. So I would like spend hours crafting this email to describe the situation I'm in. And then I get an automatic response, first of all. So I would have to work around that to talk with an actual human. And then sometimes they hadn't read the original one. So I'd have to like re-give them the information. And this has been happening on and off over the course of the four years. Cause it's not like I've been doing this consistently. You can only send so many emails and get nothing out of it without stopping. So for a while I didn't do anything. Cause again, the only problem is I can't join a realm. But aside from my cousin's realm, I haven't had a reason to do it. That is until Minecraft started enforcing migration. So you couldn't even play on your account unless you could migrate it. And I, I've been having problems out the wazoo trying to migrate it. Like one video on this channel, I, I just straight up just lose my account during the recording. I mean, not during the recording, but there's a cut where I'm like, well, I'm not on RecRap 2 anymore. I had to buy a new one because I, I'm having serious issues, but it's kind of what my whole channel is based on. And I think it would be cool to have the account. So I redouble my efforts, but nothing has happened. I actually still have the username and password used to log into RecRap2 and it works on their website. It just tells me I have to go migrate the account. And then when I go to migrate it, they're like, well, is this account actually yours? And so the argument seems to come down to this. They need to know that the account is mine to verify it and like move it to their new systems. To do that, you typically need an email address. I don't have an email address. Honestly, I'm, I mean, I have an email address, but I don't think the RecRap2 account, it, it might not even have an email associated with it. It seems like it was in a very niche scenario. And the more that I've talked about it with all the different people, honestly, the more confused I am. The biggest piece of evidence for this theory is I've never used an email to log into my Minecraft account. If you're familiar with a Minecraft account, in the past, you used to type in the email, you used to purchase it, and that's how you'd log in. Now, I think you use a Microsoft account, which is still linked with an email. So you're kind of still logging in with the email but I have only ever typed in RecRap2 as my username and my password. There was one instance last month where I, I recently met a new friend and was talking about Minecraft and stuff and they asked why my account wasn't called RecRap2, like that's the name of my channel. So I explained the whole situation and it's like, oh, I, I can probably help you out with that. I This guy literally owns like 50 Minecraft accounts. I don't know why, but he's, he's like migrated 50 Minecraft accounts. So I'm like, wow, this guy, he, he knows what's up, dude. He can probably help me out. Uh, gets back to me. Nope, you're screwed. Sorry, dude. So we spent like an hour or two on a call at midnight trying to get this sorted out and just nothing came from it. I also have a lot of old footage of me trying to recover my account because for a while there was like a weird in-between period where they were enforcing the migration for the first time where you could use like a mod, like essentials to actually log into Minecraft and like bypass their systems. And so for a couple weeks I was able to do that, but eventually they shut it down. And afterwards, whenever I try a new technique to try to get my account back, I would like record and I'm like, is this the time? Is this the time that I'm gonna get? And no, no, nothing, nothing has worked. I made a video on the same subject, like gosh, like a year ago or a year and a half ago, basically saying my account was like lost forever. That was on my second channel. So I've gotten a lot of suggestions from you guys. I've tried out as many as I can. I've talked to a lot of different people. I, I, I think I've tried everything I can. So I have one last ditch effort. You wanna hear, you wanna hear my master plan? I am gonna make a Twitter account. I've never had a Twitter account, I think, in general, the less social media you have in your life, the better off you're gonna be. Probably ironic coming from a YouTuber, but that's why I don't have a Twitter account. Every It's kind of funny, every time I mention I don't have a Twitter, the only response I've gotten is, oh wow, good for you, you're probably better off without it. And I'm just baffled that more people don't have a Twitter account. But the sole purpose of this Twitter account is to make a single tweet, to try to get in contact with a Mojang employee. Somebody who I can just talk to like on the phone or something uh, instead of an email and hopefully somebody who understands the nuances of this argument. Cause I feel, 
that if I've used it for so long, I have the password and username, and that my account is maybe in a weird situation, maybe it doesn't have an email, I should be able to get it back. So if you want to support getting the account back, I'll leave a link to the tweet in the description. But I wanna say this, and I think this might be the most important part of this video. I'm not sure how many people will watch this video, but I'm aware that I could cause a headache to Mojang, and that is not my intent. I wanna proceed with caution and respectfully, so if you're going to respond, just like the tweet I make or respond to that. Please don't ping any Mojang employees. Anyways, as the speedrun wraps up, I hope it was at least somewhat entertaining. This zero cycle killing the dragon, that was so sick, bro. I had to clutch with a pearl at the very end. And I, I guess I should mention two more things. I currently have a ticket with Mojang to try and get this account sorted. It's like the last ticket I've opened, but I opened it 12 days ago and I haven't heard back from them. Things are shutting down in three days, so I, I don't want to be caught behind. So that's why I'm making the tweet. Also, it did not take an entire month to make this video. Sorry, I haven't posted a ton. I scrapped two complete videos and then started working on a third that is just massive but so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Okay. That's everything I had to say. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Peace.